around 10, 15 in the morning, a 25 year old man jumped on a scooter and in 12 minutes, he shot four people and nobody could understand why. My job was to find where he lived, talk to the people that knew him, and find out what caused him to go on the shooting spree. The first person that he shot was two blocks away from his home. I spoke to an eyewitness. She actually watched him ride up to a 21-year-old man named Caesar, rode up behind him and just shot him. From there, he went and shot three more people, one of which was an 86-year-old man who died, who was on his way to the mosque to go and pray. He's like a father of six, you know, like a hardworking family man. Bam, he was shot randomly and killed. It was pretty difficult to find him because even with all the cameras we have, he was still able to evade police for hours. It was because he's on a scooter, he's mobile, very mobile and hard to track because there's a million electric scooters rolling around the five boroughs right now, none of which have a license plate on it. My job was to find where he lived. The New York Post's police shack was able to supply multiple addresses but one of the addresses actually was where he was staying. It was a basement apartment. The super of the building had rented him out a room in his own apartment. The super, he didn't understand why he did this, but what he did know is where he worked. He worked at a Dominican restaurant in Williamsburg called Sazon Perry. The owner of the restaurant seemed to be the person who knew him the best. He immediately said, you know, I love this kid like a son, but he has said some strange things. He said that he knew I put a chip in his head. I asked, did he just not show up on Saturday? And he said, no, he called in early. He was supposed to be here, but he told my partner that he could not come in today because people were after him. People were trying to kill him. The assistant district attorney for Queens, during Thomas Abreu's arraignment, he shared some of the strange things that Thomas Abreu said to the police officers after they arrested him, quote, the Russians are after me. The Chinese are after me. He just said, Africa is after me. The police put it out there that he is, quote, extremely emotionally disturbed. For anybody who's watching this and doesn't know what's going on right now in the five boroughs, there are a ton of these unregistered scooters, electric scooters that can be had for between three and five hundred dollars. A lot of them are used for deliveries, for food deliveries, but these scooters are being used as getaway vehicles because they are the perfect getaway vehicle. They can be on video, there's no license plate. They, there's a million of them, they all look exactly the same pretty much. So they can drive up, shoot somebody, drive away. They can get around a lot easier than anybody who's driving an actual registered legal vehicle. These scooters are kind of facilitating a lot of problems and there's probably gonna have to be some kind of change made before this gets even worse. So if you don't wanna miss any of the behind the scenes action while reporting on stories from the New York Post, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.